Michael Lassiter is the Area Coordinator of Integrated New Media Studies and Professor of Mass Communications at Indiana University South Bend. And he's also an artist, and he's here today to talk about his new exhibit at the South Bend Museum of Art. Michael, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good to have you here. Now, you have an exhibit at uh, South Bend Museum of Art, and why don't you tell us all about that? Uh, the title is Video, Animation, and Sound, okay. uh, which is the discipline that I work in. Um, it runs through July 8 uh, at the museum. Um, big, big run, by the way. That's a mm -hmm. long run for, for an artist anywhere to do that. <coughs> um, uh, I work in video, animation, and sound um, much like people work in painting and photography. I, I, I produce video um, counter to what you might expect. Uh, okay. out of video. I, I produce video objects. All right. Uh, now I think we have some, and we're going to roll some video right now in fact, uh, of the exhibit over there mm -hmm. at the uh, Museum of Art here in South Bend. Can you give us a, just an overview of what we're, what we're looking at here and what people can expect? Well I have ten pieces playing uh, mm -hmm. in this one room. Um, that's probably the oldest there. This is Flight that's on the screen right now. Okay. Uh, and that is the St. Joseph River that those soup cans are flying over, by the way. <laughs> um, here's my very, my very latest piece. Is, this is Messenger, uh, which uh, relates back to where I grew up in Hutchinson, Kansas. That's, that's actually a maize field in Hutchinson uh, in the winter. Mm -hmm. Here's a piece that's basically uh, all about art itself. This is uh, Act Two. Um, and here's another Kansas piece. This is Untitled Kansas, 2008. Is when it's I did beautiful. That piece. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Now that looks like a like a painting. Is it actually animating and moving there? That the yes. last piece oh, yeah. that we saw. Uh, very slow movement. Okay. Uh, but Kansas is a quiet place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, um, my, yeah, my pieces uh, riff off of uh, biographical resources. Um, but also off of traditional media such as landscapes, mm -hmm. portraiture, and so forth. Now, how did you get the idea to start into this field of video and animation and sound and, and, and do it all as art? Uh, I spent 11 years as a documentary filmmaker okay. uh, in public television. Mm -hmm. um, and I was, um, well, when, when you are uh, in, involved with any form of photography, including motion photography, you tend to get interested in what's in the frame itself as a single composition. Mm -hmm. And so I sort of moved from uh, issues of continuity and storytelling to issues of storytelling within um, a, a single frame of video mm -hmm. presented as a video object. Okay, we're seeing a little bit more here now. Do you, do you get a lot of reaction and comments from your art? How do you get that? Do you, do you just... Do you, stand around in the museum and listen to comments of people that are, as they uh, walk I, by? Or how do you get the reaction? I actually, I have some pretty funny stories about comments I've heard in the museum <laughs> okay. uh, uh, about my work. Um, Good and bad or? Uh, interesting. Okay. Let's put it in that category. All right. Uh, mostly good. Some people are, uh, uh, well, so, some people are a little confused by <laughs> when something is in motion and has sound, but otherwise you're looking at a composition that looks very much like uh, mm -hmm. Uh, the, in the way that you would look at a photograph or a painting. Now this is interesting here. You have three different pieces here, uh -huh. all doing all doing some sort of countdown apparently, or count up. Well, uh, people who <laughs> are interested in video would be interested in that one because it's okay. three different panels uh, okay. playing on the idea that the pixels are the same, ah. but we make the pixels uh, depict visual things by the video algorithms, the video code that we send them. How, where do you get the inspiration to make these pieces? Uh, <laughs> Um, that's kind of difficult. Uh, I, I wouldn't even call it inspiration. To tell you the truth, I, I, I work pretty hard at this. I, I pay attention to what other artists are doing, okay. mostly in painting and photography. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, I, I use my own scrapbook for, uh, for, uh, mm -hmm. uh, for material, okay. uh, stuff from uh, photographs and whatnot. And you have, you mentioned uh, before we started here that you have uh, a couple of Vimeo channels, right? People can see a lot more of your artwork. Right, uh, I do, and uh, all you need to do is, is Google Vimeo Michael Lassiter and you'll find probably more than you want to deal with. Very good. <laughs> and, and your exhibit goes at the Museum of Art here in South Bend until when? July the 8th. Okay, well very good. Well we'll have some information on that on our website at WNIT.org. Thank you, Michael. I didn't get a chance to ask you too much about being a professor at IUSB, but you, what is your area of expertise there? 
Uh, well, I, I, my, my PhD is in uh, telecommunications, in, mm -hmm. in mass, mass communications. Very good. Uh, and I'm teaching in digital media, um, integrated new media studies. Well, very good. Well, well good luck with the exhibit. Uh, looks like uh, something fun to check out there, and I appreciate you coming in today. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. And uh, hopefully we'll have you back sometime. Thank Thanks you very much.